Matty, everyone's well aware of the Wrexham story at the moment. That would be just a case of our players going out there and uh, trying to win a game of football on Saturday. Yeah, of course it will. That's what it's all about. And um, no better place to, to get back onto a, a decent winning run than going away at Wrexham um, against a good side and doing it there, which we've shown we're capable of. Um, I think the, the games early on away from home where a real team performance, we're going to need more of that on Saturday. And Obviously, everything for them at the moment is going well. There'll be a big crowd there. Most footballers will relish that, won't they? Go in there and, and cause into outsiders what will be an upset. Yeah, you should be motioning it, and I'm sure the boys will be. Um, it's a great place to go and showcase yourself at the minute with all the hype around the club. Um, and we know what we're up against. We're, we're fully prepped. Um, we work today, we work again tomorrow. Um, we're going to have to be really good in certain areas. and. Um, I'm sure with what we've got, or what we will have on the pitch in terms of the attacking threat, we'll carry a threat as always. So um, it's about getting the out of possession defensive stuff right, real diligence to what we're doing, um, and then I'm sure we'll get a chance at the other end. And you've spoken, and we spoke to Fikra Keller as well, about tightening down on set pieces as well, both ends. And I suppose more work goes on that day to day than anyone probably realises on the outside. Definitely. We've had a good. A good week in terms of um, training, and um, a clear week, just to, to freshen everybody's mind, minds up. Um, and yeah, we, we've, like I said, we've prepped today, we'll prep tomorrow, two day building, which you don't always get when the games are thick and, coming thick and fast. Um, so yeah, we'll go with the game plan, set pieces will still be important as they always are. Um, and like I said, the, the game plan will need to be carried out really well. Yeah, and as has been the case in the last few weeks, got injuries to, to think about and deal with, but sometimes that's just opportunities for other players to, to come in and uh, show you what they can do. Exactly that, and they've got to grab the chances because we've got players coming back sooner rather than later, Ellis will be in the squad for the weekend. Um, great to have him back, give us that balance on the left hand side. There's other players that aren't too far away as well, so yeah, it's an opportunity for the players to make sure that they can't be left out in the next game, and that will be the message to them. That um, the players we've got coming back, you know, the squad's going to be looking a lot stronger in the coming weeks and um, don't take a chance. Yeah, and you, you mentioned there, uh, John Akinde, another experienced player that yeah. comes back in. Is it important to have those experienced players amongst the group out there on the training ground and out there on a match, especially when you're going for a yeah, run of results? Exactly that, especially with the, the run we're currently on. Um, those experienced heads that have been through it that can relay the, the right information to the younger players because we have got a young squad. I think it's really important. And John showed what he was all about when he came onto the pitch on Saturday. Um, Ellis will be the same. Hawley when he comes back. Um, Tom Dallison, those kind of players. Kelvin's just recently come in but been brilliant. Um, so yeah, that'll be really important moving forward.